Hey Matt, hey everybody listening there guys, this is Jared James. Um, Matt asked me to actually answer a couple questions for you guys informally, so this is about as, ad, as uh, informal as I can get. I understand you guys are there at uh, NER in New Orleans, I am also probably there, so I hope I get a chance to see a lot of you. Uh, three questions you wanted to answer Matt. The first question was, uh, based on the students you coach who are consistently successful with internet leads, uh, what do you attribute their continued success to? And I think the, the key uh, part of that question is continued success, because anybody can get lucky, anybody can... Uh, have success here and there, but what really has to happen with internet leads, and I'll talk about this a little bit more in a little bit, um, is consistency, is the idea that these are not referrals, these are not what you're probably typically used to. Uh, these are things you've got to follow up with for a long time, and you've got to find a way to really separate yourself. You have to find a way to humanize yourself. You've got to use video like we're doing right now because it completely humanizes you. Uh, you've got to find ways to use drip campaigns, but use them in a way that's completely informal, very short, the way that you would actually write. Add things to the end of those, uh, those emails, those drip campaigns that say things like sent from iPhone or something like that that just makes it look like you sat down and took the time. And then be persistent. Those first 10 days, don't be afraid of being annoying. Because if you annoy somebody because you contacted them too much, they weren't a customer for you anyway. Uh, so don't be afraid of that. You know, show them that as hard as you work to get in front of them is as hard as you're going to work for them when you finally work for them. So it's important you do that. Uh, second question. We can go a lot more detail, guys, but this is supposed to be quick. Uh, second question. In your experience as it pertains to Internet listing leads, have you found the following statement to be true? Approximately 80% of Internet listing leads come to market 6 to 18 months after the initial online inquiry. I think you know that I find that to be true. Um, otherwise, you wouldn't want me doing this interview. Uh, it's completely true. Um, most of these people, they're just, they're just checking things out. They're really kicking tires at this point. They're trying to figure out if this is really a possibility for them. They're really, um, you know, we found that last year was the first time in history more people went online, found their property themselves, and then brought it to you. And yet at the same time, the number of people who used a realtor went up by over 20%. So what that tells us is that people are doing their initial inquiries, they're doing their initial searches online, but then over time, what happens? They want the trusted advisor. They want the person that knows what they're doing, and that's where you come in. So it's important you remain an option. Remember, 66% of people online work with the first person that they actually come face-to-face -face with. And so that's your goal. Your goal is not just to respond fast. Your goal is to respond over and over and over and over again because the first person that gets in front of them face-to-face, 66% -face, of the time is the person they work with. Your third question, what advice do you have for agents who are just starting to incorporate Internet leads into their model? Uh, very simply, understand these are not referrals. If you are somebody who on a regular basis deals with referral business, you're used to, my sister wants to sell, and you list their house next week. This is not that by any means. These are people that on, on average are going to take 6 to 8 or 18 months, as, as we put here in the previous question, uh, before they do anything. And remember, 80% of all sales are done on the 5th through 12th contact. For those of you that are watching right now, how many of you get to the 5th through 12th contact? Probably not a lot of us. We, we contact them a couple times and say, oh, they're not interested. Or we say, oh, my internet leads are no good. And the truth is it's not our internet leads that are no good. It's our follow-up systems that are no good. So understand that internet leads are a completely different monster than referrals, but they're just as valuable, if not more valuable, because they're actually controllable. They're predictable, whereas referrals aren't. If you have an internet lead-based business, you have a predictable business. You know how to create, and if you want to create more, you just scale that process. If you have a referral-based business, I love referrals, but it's not predictable. How do you double a referral-based business? You know, stare at your phone harder? Doesn't work. All right, guys, so I hope this helped you out. Uh, I'll uh, hopefully run into you guys a lot throughout this week. Have a great day.